the Debon Galaxy, the start of the Royal Botronite world. Biolife consumes the world around us. We consume the Earth below. What is it that truly differentiates us? In Shimasha Alken, 1743. Life on Vran developed in a simple manner. Primordial soup rising swiftly after the planet's crust cooled down. Then, 3.9 billion years later, life had properly developed upon its surface. A thriving ecosystem of unique flora and fauna, surviving and flourishing on this dry desert world. But, regular life got interrupted when an alien metal pod impacted the soil, bringing with it a large population of a species that is now called the Botronite. Beings of sentient stone, lithoids, unnatural beings that did not evolve like the other life of Fran, but instead were created far out of reach of anything that could possibly exist there. An unknown species, a predecessor of the Botronites, constructed a megastructure, a facility located in orbit of Levenbank a massive gas giant at the outer edge of the Fresnel system that protects the rocky worlds from asteroids and other interstellar objects that would otherwise threaten the breathing planet known as Fran. On this megastructure, this nexus of science, this predecessor experimented with species of many shapes and forms, attempting to breathe life into the unliving, to create the first sentient beings of rock and minerals. And they succeeded. With this, they created the first Botronite life forms. They were sentient and capable of coherent thought. For a reason yet to be understood by the Botronites, these creators then deployed this batch of a newly founded species on the surface of Fran, leaving them to fend for themselves. This culture remained untouched and was allowed to develop purely on its own. Due to their united start, their people never truly experienced war. There were conflicts over the thousands of years that their people developed, but no war that was big enough to note down in the history books, with a single exception, the War of Petroxia. This war happened in the early 2000s, 2032 to be precise. At this point in history, Many countries had developed upon the surface of Fran, all sharing resources, technology and space. Yet, one such country had found the birthright, the device that had dropped them on the planet, a device that still functioned and had with it a black box of many advanced technologies, one that would help them into the next age. But the country had no interest in sharing this device, wishing to keep it for themselves and become the true ruler of the planet, the King of Fran. The man head spearing this endeavor was Tokmon Shahasen. The longer, as he and his country of Skern could keep this device a secret, the more time they would have to develop technology that would force the rest of the world to comply. After another ten years, however, the rest of the world discovered the existence of the birthright and of Tokman Shah Sen's plan. This resulted in an all-out offense, mostly fought by the United Planet against the singular country of Skern. This battle served as an example to all Botronites, a conflict that only lasted six years, which is relatively short compared to the Botronite lifespan and to wars led by other alien species in the mysterious galaxy. Skern, due to its many advanced technologies, launched a surprise attack three years into the conflict, utilizing magnetic weaponry and lethal laser rifles to annihilate an enemy unit consisting of 3,000 Botronites, six mobile artillery vehicles and two swarm crafts, with only 300 men equipped with these weapons. This move shattered the world's alliance. Some of the countries surrendered and joined the Kingdom of Skern, while others fought to the bitter end. And while at first the United Friend forces had the numbers and geographical advantage, the advanced technology proved too much for any number to handle. 
and as such, after six years, all countries united under the banner of Skern. Now, able to study the device in the open, the Bodronite people dedicated most of their researchers to discovering the secrets of this black box. They discovered the technology to travel amongst the stars. As the first rocket rocked the white desert in 2135, every Bodronite cheered it on. Yet, with those cheers, was regret. The many souls that were lost to accomplish this piece, this achievement, were remembered that day. But within the next 10 years, space travel developed rapidly and stellar flight became commonplace. Here, the Bodronite found something that they could have never imagined. The ruins of a construction the size of a planet, the megastructure of their predecessors. Here, the Bodronite found their origin without knowing it, unable to translate the language and systems of their ancient predecessors. It would take time for them to truly understand why they were here. With this new discovery, alien life was finally a fact, more than a theory, and as such their people decided to rename themselves. Still a kingdom under their overlord, Wotok Shahasen, but no longer the kingdom of Skern. It was time for the royal Botronite worlds to make their mark on the galaxy.